knowing how grateful I am for everything that I have drives me to try and be the best person I can be for, for others and for myself. We uh, lived in a sort of a small suburb of Columbus, Ohio. It was out, uh, I'd actually say it's more of an exurb than a suburb. Summers were great because I love swimming. I started tennis as an adult and I loved playing tennis, so taking them out to the pool and playing tennis. They'd play tennis so we kind of ran around with our dog or something and then they'd toss balls at us for 10 minutes at the end to see if we could hit it. I just thought it looked like fun because they were doing it. Um, so it wasn't any sort of like, oh, they were really into tennis and played competitively in school, so then that's what I wanted to do. It was more just like something we happened to do when I was younger and then when I moved to Minnesota looking to get involved in things, um, it was a good thing for me to get involved in and I ended up absolutely loving it. Once we moved, we ended up having them sign up for summer programs, and uh, one of the programs happened to be in tennis. We were very grateful. We got her in with some lessons at a, at a little spot where the coach, whose name was Ron York, was fabulous. He, he knew tennis very well, but most of all, he taught the kids that tennis was for fun, and she's never lost sight of that. I'm not saying she's never felt pressure and, and, and that kind of a thing, but that perspective has been great for her. After her first winter where she took some lessons, they did uh, some team tennis, junior team tennis is what it's called, through USTA. I've been playing for two years at that point, and one of my instructors, who's a college-age kid at the time, um, encouraged me to try out for the varsity team. He was like, oh, are you going to go to varsity tryouts? And I was like, no, I'm in eighth grade, and like I you know, haven't been playing tennis for that long, and he, he just really pushed me to go. He was like, I really think you should. And she said, Mom, Chris said I should try out for the varsity team. I said, Molly, me. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't think I said, are you sure? But I have to say I had my doubts. But in Minnesota, you can play varsity sports when you're in seventh and eighth grade, not in sixth grade. But if you can make the varsity squad, then you're allowed to. And so I did that and I made the team. At the beginning, it was a surprise that you know she had done well. But uh, I would say, looking back, it's a testament to her character and her determination and drive. I was definitely intimidated by all the older girls because high school is a completely different world for middle school. But my team was very welcoming. Um, I, like I said, I wasn't even expecting to do it until like a week before it happened. They were really positive. It definitely shaped my life. You know, she came in and they played like two or three doubles. In Minnesota, you play either singles or doubles on the high school team. And she was at either the lowest or the next to the lowest doubles team. It wasn't like she was a stud superstar. Um, and then the more surprising thing was when she went back her freshman year and all of a sudden she started playing number one. We're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Melanie had sent me a resume, so I definitely knew that she was an involved person, that she had a lot going on. Made her all the more attractive as a student athlete for me, um, that she you know, cared about things other than uh, tennis and, and had other interests. After my freshman year of high school, I got pretty involved, like sophomore year, um, and then it's been like that ever since. I just always have a lot of different things to do, and I think it's because I have a lot of separate interests and so I want to be involved in all kinds of different things that I care about and socially got busy and then I also got really into different clubs and spending time doing things like that with sports as well. We very much tried not to spoil them and tried to give them perspective so that they understood how fortunate they were and I think from a young age they understood that. I really liked Eagle Buddies. Uh, Eagle Buddies was a club where the mainstream students, as they were called, would spend time with the special needs students at our school. And so we'd do activities every couple of weeks, you know, like Easter egg hunts or just coloring things or just having, you know, a snack together or something like that. A lot of the people that I got to meet were just really positive. Like they had a really good appreciation for life, kind of a way of, you know, giving back and, and saying thanks for um, what you have that you might not have really had a say in getting. I mean, she was a standout kid from the beginning. Uh, excellent academically, um, a little under the radar tennis-wise, didn't go out and play the big national tournaments, so I think she was certainly uh, one of those diamond in the rough type kids that I saw a lot of potential in, um, and certainly glad she decided to come to Bradley. I knew that I wanted to play tennis in school, and I actually, I hadn't heard of Bradley 
Coach Tyler, he actually contacted me through a tennis recruiting website. And so he contacted me. I think I just responded to the email and he offered me an official visit. And I said, sure, I'll come. And I came and I liked it. It was a quick turnaround. It was late in the recruiting process. Uh, we needed to know who was coming in for us. And so um, I gave Molly kind of a, a short timeline to, to make a decision. The major driving force was the fact that he gave me two days to answer if I wanted the scholarship or not. So I was just like, ah, I don't really know. And then I just said yes, because I didn't, I hadn't fallen in love with any school uh, really. But it's been a really good thing that I came here because since coming here, I've, I've fallen in love with Bradley, so. Well, she's very much uh, an extrovert. I remember as she was a freshman, we had a rink at Toits had an injury and couldn't play on spring break. I remember she was off by herself and Malini took it upon herself to go sit with uh, Arenka, who was a senior, and help her out. She, I think, really cares about other people and thinks about the feelings of other people. We don't designate team captains. I'm a true believer in that leaders show themselves um, and Malini certainly showed a lot of outstanding leadership characteristics uh, her first year. I remember Coach saying that to me freshman year. Um, he said, I don't know if you know it, but you're a leader on the team. The leadership role has expanded for me throughout my four years here, but I think even as a freshman, I was acting as a leader in ways that I knew and even didn't know. I feel very connected to the community of people here, the community of people at Bradley, um, and also the community of people in Peoria. I've gotten very involved in a number of different things outside of athletics and academics, and I think that that's really contributed to, contributed to my sense of community. My coaches and I started a program with the Whittier Latchkey Kids, so the kids who stay after school, um, and we play tennis with them on Mondays. Smile, wave, and say hi. Go. All right, now your parents will see you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Mom, I love you, bro. So my dad originally, the other coach Tyler, felt as I do that it was important that we do some community development stuff. And my son is at Whittier, and so we spoke with them about partnering and doing some after-school stuff. And, and then Molly kind of ran with it, kind of took the reins, and has done a, an amazing job of continuing to bring those kids out and developing the relationship with Whittier. And so I think it's been a, a really good thing for both our athletes as well as the school. Just watching them have so much fun and just enjoy life. And like, I love how honest they are and how they'll just say things. Um, and I love watching them learn and grow. Like I like holding them to expectations of personal accountability and responsibility and how to conduct themselves with respect and then watching them meet and exceed those expectations and find joy in other children winning activities or be able to share a prize that they get. Watching them just develop in those ways is immensely rewarding for me. So I have a lot of fun uh, spending time in the elementary schools and, and getting to have a small hand in the development of, of children. One, one, two, three, three. Bradley Bray! She and I have walked many miles picking up trash, picking up litter throughout the community. And we've had lots of good conversations. And I'll probably remember Mal and our uh, long talks. We are pleased to see that she has turned out to be who she is as a young adult. You know, coming here between the ages of 18 and 20, she's just grown that much more. Uh, I think from her experiences on the court, her experiences in the classroom with professors and coaches and teammates and friends has helped her so much to understand who she is. And even though she doesn't fully know what she wants to do in life, she knows the things that are important to her and I think she knows who she is. I would say Malini got every bit out of her collegiate career that she could have. You know, she's the quintessential student athlete involved in so many things on campus. A tremendous athletic career as well. Uh, achieved so many things for herself and her team and has just done it all. Knowing that I was afforded such a good life without much say in it, I think that's what drives me to try and be the best that I can because I want to maximize my own potential. I think that it would be a waste if I didn't. It's also been the drive uh, for me in terms of just trying to be a positive person and trying to um, lift others up and, and lift myself up and just enjoy life and make a difference even in small ways in other people's lives because I have 
enjoyed such a good life. I think that uh, knowing how grateful I am for everything that I have drives me to try and be the best person I can be for, for others and for myself.